This is the first lily in my collection. This is Alan, named after my best friend. And in a lot of ways, this lily is just like him. Each of these lilies represents someone special in my life. This one is the healthiest, the most powerful color, strong, an overachiever. This is Alan's third season in the garden. The first year he had 12 blooms. Then last year he had 40 blooms. Maybe a 42 blooms last year. And this year he's going to have over 70. If he doubles that next year, he is going to be showstopper. Last year his largest bloom was just about 14 inches across. He averaged once between 10 and 12. Just an amazing display of color. He's the second one to bloom in the garden. His flowers don't last long, but they're awesome while they're here. He gets new ones every day. And beside Alan. Judy, who is not out in bloom today, but had a flower yesterday. She's a pretty pale pink. This year I added the dark side of Alan. This is his first year. He has a really dark dark red flower, almost as big as the ones on the original Allen. This is his first year. Next to that is the new Judy, which is a double that's a very frilly pink flower. Back at the back, we have a nice, pretty pink one. I call that one Reggie. Beside Reggie is Norman. Norman's named after a really good friend of mine who is late getting started in the day, but is really productive once he gets going. Then up here we have Debbie. He's a really gorgeous salmon pink with a bright red center. Very pretty. Again, beautiful plant that is very productive. We're going to have a lot of blooms this year. Beside Debbie. Not a flower today. And we call this one Linda. This one's named after my mother's best friend. 